Yo, good afternoon YouTube. I'm here to reply to Max Desu's tag. Uh, thanks for the tag, Max. So you guys ready? Five facts about me. Many of you have never heard about this before, but there is a keyboard layout in English called Devor. The original keyboards, they were made um, with, uh, you know, your hands punching the keys into the paper. You know how the keys, they would like, if you type too fast, they would stick together and jam. And so QWERTY layout was designed. There is this new layout that was designed that never caught on for computers. I happen to use this new layout called Dvorak, and I thought I'd show you guys the difference. So yeah, that was me first typing in QWERTY and then typing in Dvorak. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but there's a lot less finger travel between QWERTY and Dvorak. Dvorak being less, obviously, and so there's more potential for you to type faster. Uh, I actually grew up typing QWERTY, so I type very slightly faster on QWERTY than I do on Dvorak. And it looks like I've hit my, you know, reasonable ceiling with Dvorak. I type about 70 words a minute with pretty close to perfect accuracy on QWERTY and I type about 62-63 with Dvorak with a similar accuracy. But I've had friends who type only about 40 with QWERTY and they're able to exceed that by learning Dvorak. Okay, so this is fact number two. Fact number two is that most people have a exact same arm span, the length between the tip of their left arm and the tip of their right arm, fingers to be exact, and their height are identical in length. For example, if you're uh, six feet tall, then your arm span will also be exactly six feet between finger and finger. However, my arm span is much longer than my height. Now I'm six foot two, but my arm span is six foot six. So I have a very long arm span in comparison to my height, which is, some people would say, pretty tall already. I see you. You see me. I got too much can the pop in me. To me, me. Diggy. Roll the heart. On the CS's track. Here we go. Okay, fact number three is that I don't drink anything except water, milk, and juice for the most part and what's so unusual about that you may ask well basically I don't drink any coffee I don't drink alcohol and I don't drink carbonation as well in other words sodas uh, mineral water as well so some of the more unusual things I may drink are things like cow piss or you know artificial juice but that's it still counts as juice if it's not carbonated to me and uh, I do drink hot chocolate, white chocolate, those kind of things. But in general, I don't drink wine, I don't drink beer, I don't drink cocktails, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink the caffeinated coffee, which is even worse than coffee. And so in terms of what I drink, I'm actually pretty darn healthy. And I don't get that many cavities. In fact, I have not. So there you go. And besides, it tastes so much better. Have you guys ever drank any of those carbonated drinks after you shake it enough that all the carbonation is gone and then drink it? It tastes like... Yeah. I don't know what you guys see in those carbonated drinks. Coffee I do understand. Coffee does smell damn good, but it doesn't taste good. 
just bitter. I don't understand it. I mean, if you have to put so much milk and sugar in it for it to taste good, then it doesn't really taste good in the first place. It's just the milk and the sugar and the smell. I have a lot of bicentennial quarters and one silver one. But actually, that's not all of them. Yeah. A few dollar coins here and there, but the rest are all, all bicentennial. Let's take one random one here. Drummer boy indeed. There's also a couple of silver dimes in there as well. And finally, probably one of the rarest coins I have, because I've never seen one before. This is a bicentennial full dollar piece. Uh, it's not a silver since half of the side is copper, but it's a bicentennial dollar, and on the back you'll see a moon and a bell, I'm assuming it's a liberty bell, I don't know anything about this coin, other than I'm sure it's real. It's a big thing. That's compared to a standard quarter there, so a dollar piece is pretty big. That's fact number four! Fact number five. And this one is kind of interesting as well, as is all my other facts. Um, I have been known to take very unusual pictures ever since I was small. And a long time ago, when I was still in elementary school, I used to have a collection of garbage can pictures. In other words, I would have a little camera, and I would go around and collect pictures of garbage cans. There's one. It's a garbage can at a beach at Half Moon Bay. It's so rusted that it's basically completely useless and it's lying on the floor with half of it open just broken off by rust and you'll see a couple Bud Budweiser cans right there in there as well. This one is the very first garbage can picture I took and it was I think somewhere on the way to Yosemite a long time ago. Oh it says Sequoia National Park garbage can 1990 November 12th okay somebody's been taking notes it says please <laughs> on the trash can all right no idea where this is there's another picture of a garbage can I assume it's a similar date because that collection didn't really last very long it's probably about a year I don't even know why this is in here. It's just a picture of a smiley face I drew in the sand. Okay, so maybe not all of these are crash cans. Yep. Okay, those are the only ones I could find then. I had about three more, but I don't know where they are. So, that concludes my five. Now, on to five tags. Number one. Rukian. Chonnuru? Whatever happened to your thing anyway? You don't do it anymore. Anyway. Five facts, please. All right, your tag. Number two. Okay, you've probably been tagged already, but I'm gonna tag you because I'm not sure. So, Koichi. Koichi Ben san. Do five facts about you. All right, looking forward to it. Number three. Photosynthesis. Oh, it's actually getting dark. Is that a plus two? You are tagged. Five facts about you, please. Although you might not do it, but if you get a camera, you feel like doing it. Five facts. Okay, number four. This one is for you, Castmaster2000. You haven't made a video in forever, and you need to. Five facts about you, all right? Your tag. Okay, tag number five. Final tag is gonna be Little Raindrops. Mariko, was it? Five facts, you are tagged. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.